Welcome to our new challenging track devoted to backup basics. Today you're going to learn what a backup is, why company and users need to backup their data, and what kind of data can be backed up and on which kind of storage devices. You'll also learn about cloud-based backup services and what's the difference between a self-service and managed service. Finally, you'll also learn about what's so special about backup powered by Acronis the world's leading company offering award-winning backup and disaster recovery solutions for small, medium, and large-sized companies all over the world. Are you excited? Let's get started. So first, what is backup? Backup can be defined as a process of copying a file or folder, maybe even a volume, onto various storage devices for the purpose of recovery in the case that the original data is accidentally or intentionally erased, damaged, or destroyed. Data can be lost for a couple of reasons. The most common reasons are trivial, such as spilling drinks on a keyboard or power failure. However, there might be also more complex and less predictable accidents, such as hardware malfunctions, software corruption, and ransomware attacks, maybe even fire. Before we get started with our backups, we have to plan for them. In order to ensure business continuity and plan for backup activities, a company has to answer three questions. What do we want to back up? Where do we want to back up to? And how do we want to store our backup? The company has to decide which corporate workloads require backup, and then look at their regulatory and audit compliances to make sure that they've met all their legal obligations. And finally, and most importantly, the size and the data and the length of time that they want to have that backup done for. Next, the company needs to determine the most suitable type of storage for their company. They have to check which corporate storage options are available to them and which sort of replication and data tiering they want to have. Finally, they have to choose which kind of backup types they want to have and at what frequency, and then also make sure they check for their recovery options. So let's take a look at what a company might want to back up. As you can see, there are a lot of different choices for today's companies to put their data upon. So first we have our physical servers. Those are you know, the this stuff that you would put in the back office and have there uh, ready to go. Um, a couple of years ago, Concept of virtualization came into vogue, and we have a lot of different virtualization systems out there. And keep in mind, we don't have to just back up the virtual machines that are on those uh, virtual hosts, but we actually have to back up the hosts themselves. We have all of our endpoints, you know, the devices that our customers end up using themselves, their PCs, Macs, and so forth. We also have all their applications. Most of these uh, need to have a lot of data uh, that is driving these companies' business, and therefore we need to make sure that that data is reproducible. And finally, we've now moved our data very easily up into the cloud. So a lot of companies are adopting the cloud as a place to put their data. For each of these different types, we need to have different kinds of options available for making sure that we can recover the data that's there and put it back to where it belongs. Uh, some of these things will allow us to do things very granularly. We can get one piece of data back. And then in other cases, we need to put large complex systems uh, back into their original locations. Next, let's look at where we're going to back those things up to. So we have uh, disk storage, both local and network. We have tape drives where we can put things in. Tape is a very common uh, way to store things off-site, but now we have yet another option, which is cloud storage. And cloud storage can be both on uh, things like Acronis's own storage or at a third-party uh, systems like Azure or Amazon. Next, let's take a detour and talk about some basics of how to backup. There are three different kinds of backups that can be made. The first is a full backup in which every single backup has a complete copy of what the original data was. And every time we take a new copy, we have multiplied the amount of data that we're doing by a whole unit uh, of, of the disk. Second is incremental backups. In the case of an incremental backup, we store the original uh, as a full backup first, and then each time we go back and look at the uh, backup solution, we take it from where was the last time uh, that we had a backup. So uh, it goes incrementally. It looks first from the full to the incremental, and then when we have another one, it looks back to the last incremental. Of course, the weakness of this is that if you lose any of the incremental backups in between, uh, you will have lost the chain up to the point of the one that you lost. Differential backups are somewhat like incremental backups, except each time 
that goes back and looks at the full backup. So uh, each time we do a backup, uh, there's a new differential one that goes just back to where the last full one is and ignores all of the other differential ones in between. When it comes to choosing backup plans, there is no right or wrong. It's what's good for a particular environment in a particular situation. And a combination of these techniques can be applied for many customers. Another important uh, concept to understand when you're doing a backup is RTO or recovery time objective and RPO recovery point objective. Recovery point objective is how far back in time I'm willing to go with the amount of data that I've lost. Uh, how long has it been since the last time I've performed a backup? And the more frequently you perform your backups, the less data you're going to lose. So if you take it once a month, you might lose a whole month's worth of data. If you take it every day, you'll lose a day's worth of data. Recovery time objective is how far in the future will it be before my systems are back online? Critical questions like, how much do I need my data and when do I want to have my data back are critical questions to ask when trying to determine recovery windows. We also want to recommend some best practices. It's best to employ the rule of 3 2 1 to avoid a single point of failure. You need to have three copies of your data one that's the primary and then two backups. Then you need to have two backups on two different kinds of media. And then finally, you need to be, keep one of those copies of data offsite. By the way, there's a corollary to that rule. You should always have one on site for really quick recovery. This rule is extremely simple. However, many people continue to ignore it and lose their data because they don't expect the size of their disaster. Numerous lessons have been learned, such as attacks from WannaCry and Petya ransomware. Now let's talk about what is a backup service. A backup service is the practice of outsourcing your backup to another company and letting them do the management of that uh, backup. There are two kinds of uh, backup services, one where the backup company does everything for you, managed, or whether they let you do some of the work yourself, self-service. In the managed service mode, the customer may have everything done for them by the server provider, including uh, provisioning the service, consulting on it, managing the backup and recovery, and doing everything for the customer except their, their daily work. On the self-service backup, the provisioning company might do a whole lot less. They might just provision out the service and allow a little bit of consulting, but it's on the end user to manage all of his services for himself. Now let's talk specifically about Acronis Backup Cloud. Acronis Backup Cloud is a powerful hybrid cloud backup as a service solution for service providers that protects all of their customer systems and devices anytime, anywhere, faster than anyone else. With ransomware protection and blockchain-based backup authentication, it's the most reliable backup solution on the market today. Acronis Backup Cloud provides effective and efficient backup and recovery services for a wide range of devices and entities such as physical and virtual machines, servers, mobile devices, applications, and cloud workloads. Acronis Backup Cloud uses a wide range of devices for storing backups such as Acronis Cloud Storage, third-party cloud storage, and disk storage. Now let's look at some of the Acronis Backup Cloud advantages. Acronis Backup Cloud is a multi-tenant solution. It reduces overhead by consolidating all the customer views and administration into one unified web console, available anywhere and at any time. Acronis Backup Cloud offers true multi-tier, multi-tenant solutions. It enables cloud resellers to provide varying levels of capabilities to their customers using a single data protection platform. It provides flexible storage options for customer backups, including local, on-premise, service provider hosted, Acronis hosted, and third-party hosted, including Microsoft Azure and Amazon S3. Acronis Backup Cloud simplifies the sale of backup services by combining proven backup technology with scalable cloud architecture that integrates with popular cloud management tools. It allows service providers to offer a unique blend of self-service and white glove backup management to fit the needs of their customers. Finally, Backup Cloud leverages the power of the Acronis AnyData engine to provide protection for any device in an on location by backing up to any storage and recovering to any platform. Acronis Backup Cloud is an easy source of revenue. It requires no upfront costs. Since it's a service, you choose an affordable pay-as-you-go model and pay every month as long as you use it. Acronis Cloud is a complete and scalable solution 
You choose which data to backup and on which storage and how frequently. You can also rebrand and customize the user-friendly interface according to your preferences and your company's policies. Acronis Cloud is a safe solution. It uses various encryption algorithms, including top-level AES-256 encryption to protect your backups both in transit and at rest. Acronis Cloud is a fast implementation solution. You don't need any sophisticated cloud infrastructure to start your business. Moreover, if you become our partner, you'll get free trainings covering all of our products, not to mention our free trainings are available at our YouTube channel that you're watching right now. Acronis Cloud is a reliable data protection. It's based on more than a decade of backup experience and includes the best features and know-hows available on the global market. Acronis Cloud is built from the ground up to be scalable and dependable. Our products have been used by over 500,000 businesses all over the world. Well, that does it for this track. We hope to see you at the next one. Good driving.